Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is delete nodes having greater value on right and it is a medium level problem. So the problem says that we have been given a singly linked list and we have to remove all the nodes in the list which have any node on their right whose value is greater. Right. So they have spelled immediate incorrectly but anyways they say that it should not be the immediate right but uh, it should be the right on the entire list. So basically, for example, this particular 6 is here, right? So it is greater than 5, right? Now, uh, if I give you a better example, you will see that uh, this 60 is here. It is greater than all the elements on the left, right? So all of these elements will have to be removed and only 60 will be remaining. This is our whole problem and the time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1, right? So let us see how we can solve this particular problem. Now the first task for us will be to figure out what are all the nodes which are to be deleted. So to find out whether a node is to be deleted or not, first we need to find out whether there exists an element which is greater than the current element to the right of it. Right. So normally in an array, let's say we have an array. So if you have an array like this and we have some values in it. What we generally do is we traverse from the right, right? So we start from this particular position, then we go here, then we go here, and then move go on, and then we move on to the left, right? So at each position, what I'll do, I'll have one maximum variable which is going to store the maximum value that I have encountered till now, right? So if my current value at this particular position is less than my maximum variable, that means there exists an element greater to the current element to the right of it. No matter at which position it is present, we just know that it is present to the right of it. Right. So now whenever I encounter such case where current element is less than the maximum element, that means I will have to delete the current element or in case of a linked list, we will have to delete the current node. Right. So identifying whether we want to delete a node is now very simple. We just have to traverse the linked list from the right and then we can check whether the current element is less than the maximum element or not and if it is less than the maximum element we are just going to delete the current node right so let us see how we can delete the node so let's say we have three nodes like these right so this is node a this is node b and this is node c so node a is connected to b and node b is connected to c right so for example if i want to delete node b now so what we generally do is we directly attach this link from A to C. So deleting the node B on the physical memory is not necessary. The first important task if you would want to do is we should connect these nodes A and C if I want to delete node B. Right. So whenever I commit node B, I can identify that I want to delete node B. But how will this information get passed to node A that we want to delete node B? Right. And to do that, we will need two kinds of information, right. So what, what we are trying to do is, first of all, we will have a recursive function, let us say traverse, right. So this is a recursive function, right. So what we will do, we will just keep on going to the right, right. So when we start our traversal from here, we will move to the next pointer and then to the next pointer and then to the next pointer and when we reach here, we will start coming back from here. Right. So this will help us to traverse the linked list in reverse order. Now at each step, just assume that I am calculating my max as maximum of my current max and my current value. Right. Now when I came at B, now when I was at node B, I realized that the current value current is less than max. That means I want to delete this particular node. Right. That is for sure. Now, if I want to delete this particular node, I also want to pass this information to node A. So what is the information that I want to pass? The first thing is that I want to delete node B, right? That is the first thing. The second thing is next of B, right? So there are two things that we need to pass to node A and that is the first information will be that I want to delete node B. I also need the pointer to node C so that I can directly attach A to C, right? So this is very important. Now, how can I pass these two informations? So my function is now also going to return something, 
but instead of having two information like this we always work on optimizations so we can always use one variable one single variable to denote both of these information together let's say my variable is next right so my next variable will either be null pointer right so if i am at a and i received null pointer from my recursive call that means i do not want to delete the next node right otherwise it will have a valid pointer right so this valid pointer will denote that i want to delete my next node and this is the node that i want to connect to now right so whenever i'll be going back to a from b my b is going to return a pointer to the node c so what will happen node a will know okay yes i received a valid pointer so now i directly need to connect to that valid pointer and in this case this would be the pointer to the node c right so this is how we are going to solve this particular problem and later obviously you can always decide to delete this particular node p from the physical memory right now let's say there is one uh, corner case in this particular approach and that is let's say our head pointer which was this one was itself going to be deleted right so if i want to delete this particular node what will happen there are two cases my whole traversal function will return a null pointer right if this returns a null pointer that means i do not want to return my head and in that case i can return my original head from the function right if it is not equal to null pointer then i'll have to return this particular node or the next node which whichever my function gave me as the result of my final answer right so that is one edge case that you'll have to take care of so this was all about this particular problem let me just repeat this part again I, it is easy to determine whether i want to delete my current node or not i'm just going to take a maximum variable which is going to store the maximum value and counter till now while traversing from right to left now once i have decided that i want to delete my current node it is going to return two kinds of information to my previous node the first thing is that it will denote that i want to delete my current node b and the next thing is what is the next node of b now in this particular case i will be just using a single variable to denote both of these informations now in this case i'm just going to use a single variable to denote both of these information if it, if that variable is equal to null pointer that means i do not want to delete my node b but if it is a valid pointer that means i want to delete my node b and this is the pointer to which now the node a should point to right so that is how you can solve this problem now let us have a look at my summation so you see what i have done is i first of all created a maximum variable initialized with minus 10 to the power 9 so this is my traverse function and uh, let we'll discuss it in a while but let us see what happens here so first of all i'll be calling this traverse function while passing on my head pointer so this is the first pointer of the linked list now it will receive a node pointer as well so if this is equal to null pointer that means i do not want to delete my head and in that case i will return my head otherwise it will mean that my head will also be deleted and the next pointer should be considered as the new head so in that case i'll be passing my first pointer right so now let us see what is inside this traverse function so if current is equal to null pointer i'm just going to turn null pointer so this is going to be the base case now i initialize my next pointer as traverse of current dot next right so i'm just calling the traverse function again so if next is not equal to null pointer that means i want to delete my next node and i want to set some other node as current dot next so that current dot next will be equal to the next received here right and then i can update my maximum as maximum of max comma current data and then depending upon whether my maximum is greater than my current data or not if it is greater i'm just going to return current dot next why because i would want to delete my current node now so if max is greater than current data that means i want to delete my current node and that is why i'm going to pass current otherwise i'm just going to return null point so let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and this solution is absolutely correct so you see pass all the test cases and if you want to delete the physical node as well from the memory then what we can do is we can first store this to delete so i want to delete my current next right so if next was not equal to null pointer that means i would want to delete my next node so i can first store it in a new variable and then what i can do i can just delete it here delete to delete 
right so this is all you have to do in case you want to delete the pointer from the main memory as well so let me just quickly submit this and show you that this should also work so you see it also passes the test cases i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys said consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video was actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems so i see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet in case you're one of them then definitely consider subscribing it's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later so share this channel with your friends until the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye